Welcome back everybody to Make Share Daily where you can go and get a new fresh build each and every day. So today we're going to do another five minute Lego challenge and the wheel is full of video game stuff. So let's go spin the wheel. Let's see where it lands. So it's a Nintendo Switch. I kind of loaded the board up because I really wanted to try a Nintendo Switch. So the Nintendo Switch. I don't have one yet, but hopefully I can get one in the future. Leave a comment down below if you really like your Nintendo Switch. Nintendo Switch. So we got to build a Nintendo Switch out of Legos in five time, 221 pieces. Only from the Lego Classic Kit. So <clears throat> let's get 10 minutes on the clock, or five minutes on the clock, sorry. I'm gonna switch over to a Nintendo Switch picture. We're gonna start with this. Um, the other thing that we need to figure out is what is the screen going to look like? Maybe it's going to be a red screen. Or maybe we're going to use this as a screen. Yeah, I like that better. So we're going to make the controllers on the side. They're going to sit underneath. So we're going to go with modified colors, of course. Um, typical switches, red red and blue, which we might, oh, oh, we can do. Let's do that. So we're gonna put the red over here, blue over here, or purple, purple over here, because we don't have enough blue parts. So now, see here are all the parts. These are all the parts we got, okay? This is what I get to select from. So there's not much to go off of. So the green, green screen, purple and red so that's that now what are we gonna do what I could do is I could do this instead do these look more like the controller parts yes but in this yes they do and then white on this side and then I have this part here which I can build up. Something like that. Since it's not blue, might as well go with that. So now I gotta find a way to secure those. Hmm. So that's gonna be underneath. And then I wanna go up that much. Okay. So same goes for this. And I want that flush mounted. And I need these on this side. Okay, so now let's try something different. Trying something different. Okay, so this, maybe something like this. Then this screen goes there. Hmm. The dimensions are right. How am I going to do this? Okay, maybe what's the right size here? Do I have, I have something like this. It's gonna let me do that. Okay, have that. No, nope, that's not big enough. Hmm. Nope. Maybe something like that. There we go. Then, where's my time? Okay, then what do I need to do here? So I need to secure that to that. So that's good.
Hmm. Okay. There we go. So I'm trying to build up the middle piece here so that it matches up with the configuration underneath, like that. Not 100% of what I want it to look like, but we're getting close here. Oh, we're over time. We're over time, man. That got they got away from me. But let's finish it up, right? I mean, we almost have this in a place that I I like it. Um. I mean, this blue, then you have the white underneath it. That's not great, but that's not bad. So the switch has the rounded sides, and then they have buttons over here. So let's put, let's put some buttons, right? We're just gonna do two, and two down here. And then joysticks. So how did I jo do joysticks before? We did the, uh, we do this with a little dot on top. And then, so we're over time and I do apologize for that, but I'm trying to finish up the design that we had. So Let's give it, let's just finish it up and see what it'll look like. All right, so that kind of looks like a Nintendo Switch. If you didn't know what it was, or if I brought this to you, you might say Nintendo Switch. And that's that's really what I'm going off, of, off after here. You know, if we can get to a place where somebody would say, yeah, I can see the Nintendo Switch out of that. In five minutes of time with 221 pieces and not all the colors in the world, it looks enough like a Nintendo Switch that you know you could pass for one. Now, the only issue is, is it doesn't have anything on the screen. It's like a little, uh, little, little screen is not <clears throat> showing any games or anything. So maybe if we got something like this, shoot 'em up game. And we put that there, right? No, that won't go. So what else could we put on the screen? Flat, somewhat flat. What kind of game is it gonna be playing? So maybe two little guys or a guy and a girl on the screen with some arms maybe. Something like that. No, the arms don't look any good. But something like that, maybe maybe it's a playing some sort of game. Oh, I know what game we're playing. I'm gonna remove these. We're gonna play. We're gonna play Tetris. That's the game we're gonna play. So let's see how we can get to that.
So instead of that, these colors down here, I'm going to substitute in some more vibrant colors. There we go. Right? And then So we're playing Tetris. So we need to have a couple different shapes. So here's a Tetris piece in the air that's coming down. Right? And one, I'm looking for the long piece. Right? Everybody knows what the long piece is. The long skinny piece. <clears throat> and then the square pieces are set up. Look, we're playing Tetris on our Nintendo Switch. That looks pretty good. For a little bit of time, we made something that looks like a Nintendo Switch. You feel like you're holding a controller, a Nintendo Switch controller. And not too bad. Now we did go over time. I do apologize for that, but we had the the basic structure of the Nintendo Switch already built within that amount of time. So we went a little past that just to fill in the screen. But overall, I think it turned out really well. Thank you for watching. Here at Make Share Daily, we love to make things, especially with Legos. So these five minute challenges are a lot of fun. And if you want to play along, go ahead and pick up this classic Lego box with 221 pieces. You can pick them up for about $15 at your local Walmart or Target, and then you can play along. Or just use any other Legos that you have at your house. As long as you build that same topic, find a way to share it with us on all of our social medias. I'll leave it with this. Please go ahead and make something and share something each and every day. You'll be glad that you did it. And we would love to see anything that you make. So find a way to post it to us on our Facebook page, our Instagram page, or our Twitter account. And you will see all the links down below where you can get in touch with us. So thanks everybody for watching and we'll see you tomorrow to make something new. See you later. Bye-bye.